President Jacob Zuma is set to deliver his response to State of the Nation debates that have been delivered in the National Assembly. And I'm joined in studio by the EFF spokesperson, Mbuyi Seni Ndlozi. He's going to speak to us a little bit more about what the EFF expects the President to say. Thank you so much for joining us today. No, thank you very much uh, for having us and uh, good afternoon to our viewers. Now, everybody, the entire country has had almost an unprecedented interest in Parliament the last week. And of course, everybody is going to be looking forward to what the President has to say today. What does the EFF want President Zuma to address? Look, there, there are several things that uh, uh, came as critiques to his proposals as per the State of the Nation address. Of course, the key amongst which is the question of land. The president made a proposal that uh, they will be limiting um, private land ownership to 12,000 hectares. That's too much for us. We demonstrated that. Uh, he also made a proposal that they will be banning foreign ownership of, uh, of the land. None of the two proposals actually responds to the basic problem about land in South Africa, and that is majority of our people don't have land. None of those two proposals actually takes land into the hands of those who do not have land. And therefore we've, we've, we've critiqued that and we've indicated that all the land occupation struggles in South Africa happen as affirmed by the Freedom Charter that he claims to celebrate, but also that uh, they happen precisely because majority of the people's country are landless. That's one of the things we hope he'll respond to because the proposal of the EFF is very clear. We've got to expropriate South Africa's land without compensation for equal redistribution. Uh, and then there, there's a question of corruption. There's a question that uh, the president knows that he must respond to. He may choose to respond to it today, he may choose to respond to it later, but there is a question of him and the undue benefit of his security upgrade. Uh, you know, he, uh, the, the, there's, there's the question of energy, uh, there's the question of employment, uh, there's the question of education. There are lots of young people who are outside school, who have passed metric, they've got nowhere to go. <clears throat> there are a lot of young people who dropped out, 50% of the learners that sat for the exam last year. 50% of the people that started with them are no longer in the schooling system. No one can account for them. And we're saying that uh, there must be a proper account. There must be a proper account for close to one million children that are still under uh, child labor. Uh, we've, we've spoken about uh, a lot of majority of workers that are earning less than 2,000 rands a month. And that is the type of jobs that his government celebrates, most of which are also contracted labor. These are the, the, the issues that we have brought on the table and we are hoping that there are going to be programmatic responses in ways that appreciate the weakness of the arguments that they've put forward and an appreciation that uh, they are not uh, a response to the fundamental problems that face us.